is where the grant money goes. So uh, the name Hurdy Gurdy, which was applied to the earlier instruments with a crank, where the crank operated a rosin wooden wheel that rotated under the strings and set the strings in motion, vibrating. This, on the other hand, is actually an application of the pan pipes and all organs from the Roman times on are basically upended pan pipes. So you have the upended pan pipes here and of course <laughs> so it's the acoustics of a stopped pipe. So even though they're fairly short they give a nice lower range. So the only thing that this has in common with the string dancers earlier is the crank. Let's see if we can make the crank go around. There you go. See this is the crank and you apply it onto the side of the instrument and then when you manipulate the crank here you're operating a bellows that provides wind to a wind chest and then of course the wind is directed to the different pipes in a sequence that's controlled originally by a barrel with pins like a music box. So not only when you turn the crank did you operate a bellows but you also operated gearing that turned a, cr uh, a barrel with pins like a music box and the pins would rotate and would play the different organ pipes in a sequence to make up a tune. Now these instruments go back at least 500 years but they were usually very large instruments in castles and in, um, in churches and so on but in the 19th century they got made into much smaller boxes and that were portable and uh, they became the uh, plague of many of the cities of Europe. Um, Charles Dickens and Charles Babbage wanted um, Parliament to pass a law against barrel organs because when they were working on their novels or in the case of Babbage, his differential engine, which is a kind of mechanical computer, he couldn't think straight because there was a barrel organist playing his barrel organ under the window of uh, whatever flat he was living in London. So um, they never did pass the law against barrel organs and uh, Verdi, the uh, Italian operatic composer, hated the fact that whenever a new opera came out that he had written the, the um, uh, songs for, it was only within a matter of days before people on the street were playing the organetto de Barbary and uh, and uh, copying the airs from Verdi's operas. So he also hated barrel organs. And of course, um, they were kind of a similar plague as to boom boxes in the 1980s were a plague in most urban cities. Really loud, and if they were out of tune, kind of horrible to listen to. But you gotta remember that people in the 19th century didn't have a lot of musical entertainment either from people that played the things, played, uh, you know, ones that required actual knowledge of music or these things which were uh, pretty much automatic. So um, there was the barrel had three positions for three different tunes and uh, there was 45 seconds duration each tune and they would be changed out every week and the person that played this would usually rent it. They were impoverished people and they would walk around on a different beat in a different part of the city and uh, they would play their three tunes, stop and play their three tunes at every other street corner. And uh, after a week of this, the tunes would be changed and so on. So, um, um, of course, it was associated with the monkey, which is uh, capuchin monkeys from South America. The training regimen was pretty harsh. And then, of course, uh, they could only work with them with juveniles because when they were older, when the monkeys got older, they would start biting people. So they would put the monkey down and get another juvenile monkey. So as uh, the Royal Society of Prevention of Cruelty to Animals it does not allow uh, barrel organists to keep capuchin monkeys from Brazil. In the wild, they only last maybe six years, but in captivity, they can live as long as 30 years. And it's like having a permanent two-year-old. And of course, the big tin cup is usually manipulated by the by the uh, monkey. But uh, for me, I always like 
They have this uh, ice bucket, which uh, is in the shape of a beer stein. And I like to go into coffee houses and say, can I have a refill? So uh, this is a great uh, weapon against those who say, if this is your hurdy-gurdy, where's your monkey? Well, I, um, in response to that need on the part of my audience, I decided to sink some money into buying one of these and showing the world the differences. So I hope you've enjoyed this foray through most of the string instruments and then ending up with the uh, absurd barrel organ. But you know what? It's a beautiful instrument too. And at last, I've got something that I can wind and I don't really have to put in all the mental energy of actually playing the thing. Just as long as I keep a steady rotation of the bellows, I can, I can, um, I'm, I'm, I'm counting on this for um, my social security in my old age, which is fast coming on me. So thanks for listening and looking in on this. Thank you. Oh, yeah, pain, a 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 pain, a